Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Real Talk here on TV 35. I'm your host, Pat Brock. But today, I'm a Raider Elf, and we're here at Northwest Lawrence Elementary talking about some amazing gifts and things and surprises that these little ones want for Christmas. Hi, how are you? Good. Now, you're going to be my little helper, right? Tell everybody who you are and what grade you're in. I'm in kindergarten. My name is Bailey. Bailey. So, Bailey, you're going to be my little helper elf today. Is that cool? And we're going to talk to a bunch of kids, so you got to help me out, okay? I might ask you a question or two, okay? Can you handle that? Mm-hmm. All right, very good. We're about to get started, and you make sure you hand them one of those. You can keep one for yourself, too, okay? All right, here we go. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. Tell everybody who you are and what grade you're in. Pray K. And what's your name? Genevieve. Genevieve. Oh, that's a beautiful name, Genevieve. So have you been thinking about what you want for Christmas? Tell everybody, because we want to know, too. A sleeping bag. Oh, does a sleeping bag have to have a carrot, somebody on it? Do you want it plain? What do you want on it? Who do you want on there? Princess. Which princess is your favorite? Um, Ariel. I love Ariel, too. She's so precious. Is there anything else you want, or are you just cool with just a sleeping bag? Cool with a sleeping bag. What is it? A sleeping bag. Just a sleeping bag? Now, have you been good all year? Mm-hmm. Good. So I don't think there's any problem with you getting that. Now, uh, what do you love most about Christmas? Um, Jesus' birthday. Girl, are you trying to make me cry over here? That's special. Very sweet. So that's the real reason for the season, isn't it? Very good. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. Come right over here. Grab your candy cane. Next one should be coming on up. Here they go, right here. Hi, how are you? Uh, good. All right, tell us who you are. Barry Montgomery. Barry Montgomery. Barry Montgomery. All right. Bentley. Oh, I love that name. Very distinguished. You don't know what that word means, do you? Yes. <laughs> tell us what you want for Christmas because uh, we want to know. A tornado maker. A tornado maker? Wait a minute. You want to make your own tornado? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. I mean, how big is this thing going to make this tornado? A whole lot big. Uh, like this tall? Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Tornadoes can be dangerous, though, but are you a tornado chaser? No. No, you just want to make a tornado. Yeah. And why do you want to make a tornado? Because I like tornadoes. You, <laughs> have you ever been through a tornado? Have you? Yeah. Ever, no? But you'd like to at least have a little one to see how it is here in Dublin, right? Yeah. Now, uh, besides this tornado maker, what else do you want? Uh, a motorcycle. A motorcycle. A big one? Yeah. How big? Like this big. Are you going to ride that? No. So is it remote control? Yeah. Yeah. What color does it need to be? Uh, red. Is that your favorite color? Yeah. I love red. Now, is there anybody that you want to tell Merry Christmas? Yeah. Who? Granny and Grandma. Granny and Grandma. Go ahead and tell them right there. Uh, right, no, right here in the camera. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Let me know how that tornado is, that torno tornado maker. I'd like to see what it's like. Uh, it <laughs> goes around. It goes around. Okay. Yeah. Now, I've been through a tornado, and I think it's important. I'm going to probably stay in the house. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you. Get your candy cane. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Lord have mercy, a tornado maker. Have you ever heard of that before? We've got to find out, you know, if we even can do that at the North Pole. I'm just saying, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you? Good. Tell everybody who you are. Asher. Asher. Now, Asher, what is it that you want for Christmas? Now, if you tell me a tornado maker. No? Look out, wider, and a Paw Patrol submarine. Wait a minute now. I heard submarine. Right? And what did you say before that? Paw Patrol. Paw pa oh, Paw Patrol. Nice. Now, do you already have a lot of toys? Um, like the Paw Patrol. Oh, you have those already? Uh -huh. Th this is to add to your collection. Uh-huh. Mm, uh-huh. I need wider. That's a name of, some, of one of them? Uh-huh. Okay. What other ones do you have already? Um, just the Paw Patrol. Okay. I mean, I need to look out and... And the, the Paw Patrol submarine. Okay, and the submarine. All right, now listen, usually, you know, when you have a list, you've got to make sure that you've been nice. Have you been um, naughty or have you been nice? I've been nice. All the time? So I, I think that you should get this then, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to take care of it? 
Yeah. Do you clean your room? Um, yeah. All the time? Do you wash dishes too? Mm. Um, Look right there. They need to know. I just a little bleed. Okay, I got you. Well, keep doing those things, and I'm sure you're going to get these Paw Patrol things, all right? Tell them Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Tell them right there in the camera, right there. Merry Christmas. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Get your candy cane. Very good. I want blue. (laughs) Okay, now you do know that he's telling her what kind he wants. Pick some more out of there because you got to make sure these guys get what they want. Okay, you got them. Hi, sir. How are you? Mm. You good? Tell us what your name is. Dennis Payne. Dennis Payne. Now, Dennis. Jaden, you're Jaden. Jaden, look right there in the camera. You got to keep that head up. Tell everybody what you want for Christmas. A uh, Paw Patrol. You want what he wants? Paw Patrol. What else do you want? Uh, PJ Bass. Wait, say that again. PJ Bass. PJ Bass? Mask. A PJ mask. Who is that? Uh, in my TV. Oh. <laughs> oh, so this is a character on TV. Now, what does he do? Is he a good guy or a bad guy? Good guy. He's a good guy. Have you been a good guy? Mm hmm. What, what is it that you like most about Christmas? Uh. Do you like being with your family? Mm-hmm. Do you like getting stuff for Christmas, too? All right. And that's all you have on your list that you can think of right now, right? All right. Very good. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Come right here. There you go. Get your candy cane. Hey, sweetie. See you later. <laughs> How are you? Good. I like your outfit. Thank you. I like your little tutu. I've got one, but... Mine is, yeah, mine is about that big, too. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. What's your name? Ollie. Ollie. I love that name. Thank you. Ollie, do you know my little helper over here? You know her? Do you think that she's been uh, nice or naughty? Naughty. Oh, we got to find out. Ollie, you ready for this? Okay, have you been naughty or have you been nice this year? Nice. Why does my elf say naughty? I don't know. I don't know. Just let it ride, right? Let it ride. You know what you've been. Tell us what you want for Christmas. Big Hatchables. The big Hatchables? How big are they? About what, probably what's, that big. What's inside of it? Like an owl. An owl? You like owls? Ooh, ooh. Is that what they sound like? What else do you want besides the big Hatchables? The little Hatchables. (laughs) So you just want Hatchables, big and little. And I want some books. What kind of books? What books do you want? PJ Masks. So that must be a show on television, isn't it? So you need some PJ Masks books, and you want the little and the big Hatchables. And you've been nice. Okay. We'll see what we can do. Tell everyone Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Wave at them. Bye. Very good. Hello, I'm Darren Keene with Clements and Keene Insurance. And if you're a small business owner here in Dublin and Lawrence County, give us a call. There's several options out there, several insurance carriers, and several discounts available depending on your situation. Please come see us at the Little White House, 503 Bellevue Avenue, or call us at 272-8019. Legal matters require a highly qualified team to guide you through our complex legal system. Count on Smith Garner with over 90 years of trial experience representing you in personal injury, criminal, and divorce cases. Call 304 1451 Smith Garner. Real lawyers, real experience, real results. All right, now, little elf helper, you just told me she was naughty. But she says nice. Okay, you know what you're talking about. I'll leave it alone. I'll let you keep your job, okay? Is that good? All right. Hey, oh my Lord, have mercy. Look at this little, he looks like a little preppy college student. You look adorable. How are you? Good. Good. Tell us all who you are. We'll get out quiet. Wait a minute now. Say that again. We'll get out quiet. Logan? 
Logan. You look sharp, Logan. Mm. Mm. You've been waiting to talk to me, haven't you? Yeah. So you've thought of everything that you want for Christmas, right? Right. All right. Now, how long is this list? Uh, nice. <laughs> so first of all, you're nice. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> is he nice? I have to check with my little elf here because she's kind of like, you know, she's the one that kind of knows. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So tell us what you want for Christmas. I want a playground. Wait a, wait a cotton pick. A, a playground? A whole one? <laughs> oh, my Lord. I mean, a big playground? Yes. Oh, my God. Is it going to have, um, well, I'll tell you. Do you know what a merry-go-round is? Yeah. Can you put a merry-go-round on it so I can come out and roll around? Yeah. All right. What else it, does it need? It needs, a br it needs a tunnel. A tunnel? Okay. A tunnel, merry-go-round. What else? A tire sling. A tire sling, nice. What about, um, let's see here. My playground is different from yours. Um, what else would yours have on it? A swing set. Swing set, yes, yes. What else? A um, slide. A slide, yes. Anything else or is that about covers it? Uh, what about a seesaw? You ever heard of that? Yeah, I want that. Yeah, yeah. Get the two-seater, the, the one that has like several seats. Yeah. You ever seen those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so how big is it? Going to be as big as this room? Yeah. Where are you going to put it? I'm going to put it in, outside my backyard. Okay, so you got room to put it back there. Yeah. What color does it need to be? It needs to be all brown. Brown? And it needs to have a... Yes, it has to have, to have a yellow roof on it. Oh, a brown one with a yellow roof. You know, I was thinking about red. Why? Because I love red, but you want it brown. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second, okay? okay. So, um, he wants a playground, right? The whole playground. And he wants it brown with a yellow roof. Do you think he's been good enough all year to get it? I mean, I don't know. Yes. You think so? Okay, well. All right, so I'm back. I'm back. I had to consult. So a brown playground with a yellow roof. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to invite your friends over? Yes. How many friends you got? Uh, five. You got five friends? What are their names? Can you rattle their names Wyatt, off? Mm -hmm. Cameron, Bree, Robin Finger, and their grandmama. Did you say grandmama? Oh, your grandmama is your friend. Is it your grandmama here somewhere? Mm -hmm. She's hanging out? Yeah, my grandma's Mia. Mia. Hey, Mia. I love that. So now, what do you love most about Christmas? Uh, reindeers. Wait a Have you been to the North Pole? No. Have you ever seen a reindeer? Yes. Yes? Where have you seen it? I seen it when I looked out my playground. What? When I looked out my, when I looked out my window. Where did you see a reindeer? How I big was it? Nine feet. Oh my God! Not, did it scare you at all? No. Oh my gosh! Did he ever come back? He did. What's his name? Do you know his name? I know his name. He's called Rudolph. Oh my word! You saw Rudolph. Hold on, just a second. I've got to consult again. So he saw Rudolph. Now he wasn't supposed to see Rudolph before Christmas. What are we gonna do? Just tell him don't see him again, or you get in trouble again. Okay, okay. All right, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. So um, you saw Rudolph, right? He was about nine feet tall. Did he look back at you? Mm -mm. He didn't look back at you? No. What did he do? He just stared at me and said, what in the world? Oh, he stared at you and said, what in the world? Yeah, that's usually what he does. So uh, be careful next time you see him, okay? Because, okay. you know, that will let us know that Santa didn't know that he was, you know, out of the house. Yeah. Okay. Tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to get blue. There you go. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is, hi, Precious. How are you? Good. Tell us who you are and how old are you? I'm five and, and my name's Journey. Journey? I love that name. So, Journey, what is it that you want for Christmas? Alexa. Alexa? What do you want Alexa to do for you? Play music. What else you want her to do? To turn, to turn the lights on and off. You want her to turn your lights on and off. But what? Okay. Okay. How much does Alexa cost? How much do you think? Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine dollars. Okay. All right. What else do you want besides Alexa? A music maker. A music maker. So you love music, don't you? Do you like to sing? Can you sing? 
Do you want to sing right now? Oh, what's your favorite song to sing? Elsa. Elsa, nice. Is that from, wait a minute. Is that from Frozen? Mm -hmm. Let it go, you know that song? Can you sing just a little bit of it? Okay, we'll let it run. Hold on, for, so she's been good? All right, so uh, let me know when you get Alexa. All right, and this is Music Maker, okay? Okay. Tell everyone Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. There you go. Come on, sweetie. <laughs> hey, Precious, look at you. You look adorable. How are you? Good. Tell everybody who you are and how old you are. My name is Trinity, and I'm five. You're Trinity? Hi, Trinity. I like your glasses, too. Thank you. All right, Trinity, what is it that you want for Christmas? I want an LOL. An LOL? What is that? It's, it have a little doll in it. So how big is the doll that's in it? Mm, it's small. This small? Okay, so you want an LOL, and what else do you want? Mm, and, and I want a Barbie doll. A Barbie doll. Do you have Barbies? No. Mm -hmm. How many do you have? A thousand. Uh, can you count to a thousand? But you know you've got a thousand. All right, let's see what she's got. Do you have Barbies already? So this, One of them. So you need to add to that, don't you? All right. And so what is it about Christmas that you love so much? Mm, when Santa brings all the presents. I know. Isn't that fun? Now, do you stay up late or do you go to bed early? I go to bed early. Mm -hmm. So that you can be well rested, right? Okay, so tell everybody out there, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Very good. Thank you. Hey, son, how are you? Come on in. How are you? Good. Good. Tell us who you are and what grade Aiden. you're in. Aiden. You're Aiden. And I'm in kindergarten. You're in kindergarten. Oh, Aiden. I'm six. You're six. Aiden, I loved kindergarten. And um, I want a toy. What toy do you want? A train. A train. Do you want a real train? Yes. A real one? You're going to be the conductor. You're going to drive it? And you know how? Have you gone to uh, train driving school yet? <laughs> so you've already been. So was it hard for you to get your train driving license? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can you drive a car yet? Mm -mm. But you can drive a train. Mm, interesting, isn't it? And I want a train. A trumpet, a musician. So are you going to learn how to play the trumpet or you already know how? I already know how. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Now listen, when you get this trumpet, will you come and play a little bit for us here at TV35? Let us hear your skills. Now um, to get a trumpet and to get a train, an actual train, how many carts does this train need to have? Seven. Oh my Lord, this is going to be huge. Seventeen? Seventeen? Where are you going to fit this train? How, where are you going to park it? In my backyard. Oh, my gosh. You must have a backyard for everybody. With train tracks. With, okay, so wait a minute. <clears throat> Let's get this straight. So you want a train with 17 carts. You're going to park it in your backyard with train tracks. Wow. So, Aiden, now listen, uh, that's going to be a, that's a real special request. So I'm going to have to consult to make sure that, you know, we can do that. Hold on right there. Don't move. Okay, so here we go. This is the issue. He wants a train with 17 tracks on it to go in his backyard. What do you think about it? You'll be too big. Uh, hold on. All right, so listen. I've been consulting with my little elf. I've been talking to her. She thinks that 17 train carts might be too big. You going to bring that number down a little bit? Eight. You took it up a notch. Okay, okay, so listen. Okay, now, we're not quite sure how that's going to work out, but I need to be the first one to know on Christmas morning if you got that train with 18 carts on it, okay? Remember me. Call me. 1-800-ELF. Okay. Okay? Tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment with these fabulous little Raiders. Hi, I'm Helen Powell. I've been serving the Middle Georgia area since 1985. If you would love an exciting career, please call me. Careers in Cosmetology, 129 North Franklin Street, 272-1967. 
Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm an upcoming graduate from Careers of Cosmetology. It's been a wonderful experience, and I encourage you to contact Ms. Helen Powell for more opportunities. Hello, I'm Christy at Careers of Cosmetology. I've recently enrolled here, and I'm excited about the opportunities that lie ahead. Hey, my name is Daphne Jackson. I'm excited to be enrolled in Careers in Cosmetology. If you would like this opportunity, contact Careers in Cosmetology. Hi, my name is Caitlin. I've been enrolled in Careers in Cosmetology for about four months now. I'm really enjoying it, and I think if this is the career for you, you should definitely come see Miss Helen Powell. Careers in Cosmetology, 129 North Franklin Street. Our number is 272-1967. Give me a call. Hi, I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply, your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. If you choose the Can-Am Defender side-by-side, which is engineered to maximize a hard day's work on the farm or on a hunt. Defenders offer 20% more torque than its rivals. You can carry 1,000 pounds of payload or tow 2,000 pounds of cargo. You will appreciate Can-Am's precision engineering and industry-leading performance. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all. All right, we are back and now we are moving on up. We've got the second graders and I tell you when I say tall, look at this one right here. I'm afraid to even stand up. Hi, gorgeous. How are you? Good. Who are you and how old are you? I'm London Williams and I'm seven years old. Hello, London. You look precious, you know. Thank you. Isn't your mama's name Paris? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I love it. I need to be in your family so that I can be, what name would you give me? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> we'll think about it. I'll come up with one, okay? And hi, Victoria, the queen. How are you? Good. How old are you, Victoria? Seven. You're seven, so you're going to be my help, helper for this group, right? So you got the candy canes, you got your instructions, so you're my helper elf. Can you handle that today? Yes. So when I ask you questions to make sure that they've been nice or, you know, if they've been naughty, you're going to be able to tell me. Okay. All right. So first, girls, we're going to start off with what you want for Christmas, okay? So you hold on, little elf helper. Yes, ma'am. London, are you ready to tell us what you want for Christmas? Yes, ma'am. All right. Go for it. I want an iPhone and a baby alive. Oh, wait a minute now, London. An iPhone, what number? The 8, 9, 10? What number is it? A 6. You want a 6. Now, do you already have a phone? Mm-hmm. What kind do you have right now? iPhone 4. So you want to upgrade to a 6. Are you good with like calling people and stuff? You have a lot of friends that you call? Yes, ma'am. Are you on the phone forever? No, ma'am. Does uh, mama have to put a time limit on you being on that phone? No, ma'am. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Let me talk to my little helper, helper here. So, uh, London wants an iPhone 6. So that's going to be kind of pricey. You know, that's going to be kind of expensive. Let me, what do you think? Before I ask her, has she been naughty or has she been nice? Uh, hold on. All right, hold on. So, hey, London, hey, yeah. So, have you been naughty or have you been nice? A little bit of both, right? It depends, you know. You've had your good days and you've had your bad days. All right. So, now, this iPhone 6, now, that's going to cost quite a bit. It's gonna, now, are you going to help pay for it at all? Or are you going to put this all on mom? You want mom to get it? I'll help her. You'll help her. Okay. Have you been working to kind of save some money? You've saved some? A little bit. A little bit. All right, all right, all right, all right. And so with this iPhone, now are you going to play games on it and all that stuff? What are you going to do with it? Um, when it's an emergency, I'm going to text my mom and mm -hmm. make sure they know about it. That's very good. You sound like you're responsible. Now, um, I've got an iPhone, and I love mine. I mean, have you kind of priced them? You kind of know what it's going to cost her? No, ma'am. Mm, let me ask my little helper. How much is this iPhone going to cost her? Uh, You're supposed to know $100. these things. A hundred dollars. Okay, okay. You let me know what that iPhone is. I think you've got a secret, you know, Santa somewhere, right? Okay, London, we're back. We're back. So an iPhone. Uh, anything else? The baby alive. Do you know how to take care of babies? Yes, ma'am. And um, I want 
to get some jackets and stuff for the kids that don't have none. Now, woman, you just warmed my heart. So you want to get jackets to bless other kids who are less fortunate and don't have coats for winter. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my Lord, you just, that was so sweet. That's so sweet. Where does your kindness and sweetness come from? My mama and my daddy. I love it. What's your dad's name? Chris. Chris and Paris, you guys have raised a winner right here. All right, now listen, that was sweet. And if you need uh, um, anything else, I'm sure Santa will supply it for you, okay? Yes. Tell everyone Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Everyone. Merry, oh, say it again. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful. Thank you. Get your candy cane right here. Next one should be coming on up. Come on, darling. There it is. Y'all leaving me hanging. Y'all got to come on. Hey, son, how are you? Good. Tell us who you are. Cooper. Cooper? I love your name, Cooper. Now, Cooper, how old are you? Eight. You're eight years old. Now, Cooper, what is it that you want for Christmas this year? Um, a Fitbit. A, a Fitbit watch? And I want an Apple watch. Oh, wait a minute. First of all, uh, can you tell time, Coop, uh, Cooper? Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so you want a Fitbit so that you can get healthy, stay fit, right? No grit, no glory? Because sometimes I like to count my steps. You like to count your steps. That's good. I bet you walk a lot, don't you? I don't really. This is going to help you start walking, right? Okay. And this Apple Watch, hmm, hold on a second, okay? You stay right there. Okay. All right, so uh, he's wanting an Apple Watch. Those things, I don't know. I mean, they're kind of, how much do you think they cost? Have you checked them out yet? You don't know? Let me ask him. So, Cooper, so this Apple Watch, how much is it going to cost? Um, I think about $67. About $67. Okay. And what does this Apple Watch do for you? Um, I kind of... I like to call people on it. Oh, you like to call people on it. How many, who, do, who all do you call? Who would you call? Um, my grandma. You call your grandma. Nice, nice. All right, so you need a, you want an Apple Watch and a Fitbit. Now, for those two items, now, I think that you, um, you have got to really be super nice. Have you had a nice, you've been nice all year? Yes, ma'am. All year. Do you know her? No, ma'am. Okay. Do you know him? So you don't know if he's been nice or naughty. We just have to take his word for it, right? All right, we'll take your word for it, Cooper. Let me know if you get the Fitbit, you know, and the Apple Watch, okay? And show me how to use it so that I can request one. Okay. Merry Christmas. Tell him Merry yes. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And I want, and also, what? I want everybody to have a friend and everybody to be happy. Come here, boy. Let me squeeze you tight. <laughs> oh, so you want everybody to have a friend and everybody to be happy. And that's so important, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. I love that. And you're happy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So because you're happy, you're going to make others happy just by being around them, okay? Yes, ma'am. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So sweet. I love, love. Get your candy cane. Victoria, what are you doing? Lord have mercy. How many candy canes have you stuffed in in your pockets? <laughs> I love it. Hey, sweetie, how are you? Good. Tell everybody who you are and how old you are. My name is Kendrick, and I'm seven years old. Kendrick, you're adorable, Kendrick. Now, have you been thinking about what all you want for Christmas? Yes, ma'am. And uh, look right here in that camera, because we all need to see that face of yours when you tell us what it is you want for Christmas. Yes, ma'am. All right, go for it. I want two Nerf guns and a phone case and a Galaxy phone mm -hmm. and a Nintendo Switch. Okay, hold on. You need a you need a, a Galaxy phone, a phone case for it, right? A Nintendo Switch, and what was the first thing? Two Nerf guns. Two Nerf guns. Wow, that's a big list. Is that it? That's all you want? Yes, ma'am. Do you know how to use that phone? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. What what kind of phone you got right now? You got one right now? Yes, ma'am. You just want to upgrade, right? Mm -hmm. Another one. Okay. Have you been running your phone bill up? No. 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 Do you talk on the phone all the time? No. What do you do when you get your phone? What are you doing with it? I play games. Play games? What, what kind of games do you like to play? Uh, shooting games. Shooting games. So, of course, he likes shooting games. He needs two Nerf guns. Now, I've been seeing these Nerf guns. Some of them are huge. 
You want the big ones or the little ones? Big ones. Oh, my Lord. How big? Show us with your hands. How are you going to be able to hold that thing up? It has a, like, a... A, a strap? Mm -hmm. So you'll put the strap around. Mm -hmm. All right. And so you also need the Nintendo 64. Nintendo Switch. Switch. What is that? It's like a, it's a thing that you put all different games on. So you love to play games and you love to shoot, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I need to find out if you've been naughty or if you've been nice. Nice. You've been nice? Hold on a second, okay? What do you know about this guy? He's been a little bit above. Oh, okay, okay. Whoa. Hey, I've been hearing from my helper, Elf, that you've been a little bit of both. Do you think you've been a little bit of both? Okay, there we go. There's the truth. All right, so we'll see if you get those things. If you, I hope that you do, but you make sure you're being nice. Yes, ma'am. And what do you want to tell the people out there? Do you want to tell them Merry Christmas? Yes, ma'am. Merry oh. Christmas, everyone. All right, very good. Nice to meet you. So precious. Get your candy cane right there. I thought I'd lost my business in that fire, but my agent was there before the flames were out. He said, together, we're going to rebuild. Our employees depended on it. My independent agent and auto owners made sure we didn't skip a beat. I mean, we didn't miss a single payroll. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Curry Companies and Curry Residential, your Caldwell Banker, providing real estate services since 1902. We're here today at Bank of Dudley to discuss business loans. So many businesses and industries trust the Bank of Dudley for a variety of financing alternatives to suit your specific needs, from short-term loans to help with cash flow, loans to purchase equipment or facilities. At Bank of Dudley, we have commercial mortgage loans, capital improvement loans for construction or renovation. We can help with your business vehicle loans or for a small business line of credit. In other words, Bank of Dudley has your business covered. No matter what it is, you can trust the lenders at the Bank of Dudley with five convenient locations, East Dublin, Downtown Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, Dudley, and Jeffersonville. The Bank of Dudley, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Hey, rocking around, how are you? Good. Good, tell everybody who you are and tell us how old you are. I my name is Hollis and I'm eight years old. You're Hollis. I love that. You're eight. I think we're the same age. Go figure. You just have to put a number before my eight, though. All right, Hollis. So what is it that you want for Christmas? Um, Chromebook. A cr you want a Chromebook? My word. Now I hope that you've been like checking on this. To I mean, what does this Chromebook do? Uh everything yes all right so you want a chromebook what else do you want mm, nothing else. you just want a chromebook all right now i don't know we got to find out how much this chromebook costs do you already know how much it costs no. come back here oh there we go <laughs> you don't know how? let's find out all right now listen so she wants a chromebook do you know what that is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and do you know how much it's going to cost a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Oh my. Did you hear that? A thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. Can you. You said you've been kind of both. You've been naughty and nice. Not exactly. Not exactly. Okay, okay. So you've had uh, more nice days than naughty days. All right, all right. What is it that you love most about Christmas time? Uh. My family. Your family. I'm telling you, there's nothing like family, is it? Mm -mm. All right, so you look in that camera and make sure you tell them Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, Merry Christmas. Tell me when you get that Chromebook. I want to know about, oh my, look at this one right here, y'all. Look at, hey woman. Hey. I have talked to you before. You're growing up. You look precious. Thank you. Can I borrow that outfit? You're too big. You weren't supposed to say that out loud. Okay, wow, wow, wow. Okay, we'll let it ride, right? We'll, Victoria, what's funny? Okay, I'm just saying. All right, here we go. Back to what we were discussing. Tell everybody who you are and how old you are. I'm Maddie Claire and I'm seven years old. Maddie Claire, don't I remember when you were five? 
Oh, woman, what have you been doing with yourself? You been good? Mm-hmm. Now, you know, Maddie Claire, you and I have done this before, so I need to know for truth, and everybody in Dublin, Lawrence County needs to know, have you been naughty or have you been nice? Nice. Hold on, Maddie. Hold on. Now, listen, she's already told me that I'm too too big for that outfit she's got on, so that's a little bit <laughs> naughty right there. So, you know, what do we do, Victoria? <laughs> Should I let her tell us what she wants for Christmas? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You want me to go ahead? All right. All right. Hey, Maddie Claire, we're back. <laughs> tell everybody what you want for Christmas this year. I want an easel and some paper, markers, and paint. You are still the little artist, aren't you? What have you been painting since the last time I saw you? Have you been doing a lot of stuff? No, because in the middle of the year, my easel broke. So you need a replacement easel, don't you? Yes. Oh my, do you want one of those big ones? Yes. And so you need markers? Yes. You need to get some of those, uh, what, that acrylic paint and all that stuff. You need a whole art collection, <laughs> don't you? Now, when you get this, uh, could you paint me something? All right, anything else you want? And you know, you're all dressed up, you know. Did you do that for us? Yes. Or is this how you normally dress? This is not how I normally dress. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maddie Claire, this was a special gift. I love it. I love it. So now, what do you love most about Christmas? What's the most important thing to you? Spending time with my family. Spending time with your family. So this year for Christmas, who are you going to hang out with? Probably my friends and my family mm -hmm. and like a lot of people. Now you and I said something today when we were talking. That one thing that we love, you love the food, don't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you love most? What food do you love the most during Christmas? Ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. <laughs> nice. And what's your favorite flavor? Vanilla and Superman. Superman has a flavored ice cream? I've got to find that. It's at Starbucks. <laughs> All right, so you're going to tell me where to find it. Okay, now listen, we've done this. You give a special message to all those people out there for Christmas. You want to tell them? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from Maddie Claire. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, I've seen you before, haven't I? Mm -hmm. How are you today? Good. Tell us who you are. I'm John Daniel, and I am six years old. John, six years old. Wow. You've lived a long life, haven't you? Are you enjoying yourself? Now, you've been thinking. You've had plenty of time to think so that you can share with Victoria, the elf, and I what it is that you want for Christmas. Is it a long list? Do we have time to air it here? Well, what I want is I want everyone to be blessed for Christmas, and I wish everyone had family to spend time with. Are you trying to ruin my makeup and make me cry? That was sweet as pie. Are you always this sweet? Mm. <laughs> mm, hold, hold on, because that was touching. You stay right there. Put your hands down to your side. Let's find out. That was one of the sweetest things ever, wasn't it, Victoria? Now, Victoria, I, you know, I need to find out if he's really this sweet for real, okay? okay. What should I ask him? Let me think of something. So I'm back. Hey, John. Okay. So you want everybody to enjoy their Christmas, to be with their friends, to be with their family. That's really sweet. Now tell us what it is. Is there anything else that you want? Come here, boy. Come here. Come over here. Get over here. Let me squeeze you. That is, you know, that was so sweet. And you know, that's what my prayer is, that everyone has family and friends to be with and that they have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. We're going to give you two candy canes. You know that? Mm -hmm. Tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Give him two. Let him get two. Love it. Oh, my Lord, this shirt says it all. Santa, I can explain. Well, you got a lot of explaining to do, son. <laughs> How are you? Good. Your shirt doesn't say so. Tell us who you are. Chance. Chance. Look at me, Chance. How old are you? Seven. You're seven years old. Let me see that shirt again. Santa, I can't explain. Explain to the elves. What can you explain? 
Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Okay, so this shirt here is just a shirt. Yes. You've been uh, really a great guy yes. all year. Yes. All year. Yes. You sure? Yes. Pinky swear. Okay. Now, tell us, Victoria, you're laughing over here. <laughs> All right, are you ready to tell us what you want for Christmas? Yeah. Okay, go for it. An Xbox. An Xbox One. An Xbox One. And what else? And nothing else. Just an Xbox. What games do you want with that, though? Fortnite. For Fortnite? What do they do on Fortnite? You shoot people with the guns. Oh, my Lord. Do you play it already? Yeah. You do? Okay. Now, you got to be careful with that now. Not in real life. This is just pretend, isn't it? Yes. Okay, just pretend. Whew. All right. Um, we have to check prices on things, so we need to know how much this Xbox and Fortnite is going to cost. One. One hundred something dollars. One hundred something dollars. <laughs> Maybe three hundred. Maybe. Wait a minute, dude. Oh, you've gone from one hundred something dollars to three hundred. Whoo wee! So you've, you know, for this now, you've got to be nice all year and some of last year, and some of next year. Okay. All right. And so, what do you love about Christmas more than anything? Honoring Jesus. Say that again. Honoring Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Bless his heart. Give him two candy canes. Y'all are going to make me run out of candy canes with all this sweetness, aren't you? <laughs> well, listen. All right. So, this, uh, this Xbox One with the Fortnite game is going to cost 100 something or $300. And you... Oh, and you know the real reason for Christmas, don't you? Very good. Tell them Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, Merry Christmas. It's a month of giving thanks to our customers at Dublin Chevrolet. Take home a 2018 cruise with up to 6,500 on MSRP. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you will ever need. Portions of this program are brought to you by Altera Networks. Hey, sweetie, how are you? Good. Just as precious. Now, listen, you've got to tell us who you are because, you know, you've been in here waiting patiently. You've had everything that you want for Christmas all dancing around in your head like sugar plums. So now you've got to tell us what it is that you want for Christmas. I want a hoverboard. Um, I want a... A tripticon. A, what, a tripticon? That's, that's a transformer. Oh, now, son, you know I love transformers. What? I, yeah! I didn't know that. You didn't know it? I love it. Every time the new movies come out, guess who's the they first can't. one to get a ticket? This one. Mm-hmm. I used to watch the cartoon. Have you ever seen the cartoon? Good. All right, now, how big do you want this transformer to be? Well, I don't know how big it is anyway, mm -hmm. so. But how big, if you could come up with a size, how big do you want it to be? Uh, I don't know. I'd want a big one, don't you? Mm hmm I'd want a big one. And so this hoverboard, I've been seeing that around now. Do you know how to ride that thing? My neighbors have one, so and, they, and they let me ride they it. They let theirs. you ride it. Let me ask my little elf over here if she knows anything about it. All right, Victoria, have you ever ridden a hoverboard? Yes. You know how? Yes. Uh, after this, you and I are going to have to go ride a hoverboard. you got to show me how to ride it, okay? Okay. All right, so a hoverboard, a transformer, anything else? That's it. <sighs> have you been nice? Have you been any naughty at all? A little bit. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. All right. A little bit naughty? All right, all right. Now, have you been working on that, you know? You've been working on it, right? Mm-hmm. You've been more nice than naughty, though, haven't you? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on. She's coughing. <clears throat> was that because you believe him? Or you were like, <clears throat> you better quit. What was it? You believe him? Okay. We're just, 
I'm sorry about Victoria. I want to apologize to you for her because anytime somebody says something, she kind of like, <clears throat> like whatever, right? Okay. So I believe you. Okay. And you've been honest, that you've been nice and a little bit naughty. Uh -huh. I appreciate that. For your honesty, she's going to give you two candy canes. Okay. Tell everyone Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love, love it. Thank you. Hey, how are you, darling? Good. All right. Tell everybody who you are. My name is Jocelyn. Say it again. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Very pretty. How old are you? Six. You're six years old. Do you know what you want for Christmas? Tell everybody. I want a tablet and mm -hmm. a, a PS4. A tablet and a PS4. Now that tablet, that's that, um, is that a, an electronic? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, what do you do with your tablet? Play games on it. Play games, so you like to play games, don't you? Yes. And so this PS4, my son has a PS4. Woo, that thing costs a lot of money, don't they? That and a tablet. Now, I need to ask this question though, Jocelyn. Have you been nice or naughty or a little bit of both? A little bit naughty. A little bit naughty, yeah. What's been that area where you've been a little bit naughty that you're having to work on? Um, I had to get on the wall for talking in the class. Oh, you like to talk. A little chatty, Kathy, huh? You like to talk? Mm hmm. You're not talking right now? You kind of simmered down a little bit up here with me, haven't you? Yes, ma'am. So you work on talking. Well, you can still talk, but don't talk when you're not supposed to. Okay? And don't talk too much, especially when the teacher is trying to tell you what to do, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, <clears throat> hold on just a second. Hold on. Okay? So uh, she's got a little bit of problem. She talks a little bit too much during class, but I think that she's honest about it. So I think that she should be good, don't you? Mm -hmm. And she said she's going to work on it. Okay. All right. And you're going to work on it? Yes, ma'am. Give me your little pinky. You're going to work on it? Yes, ma'am. All right. And what do you love most about Christmas? Presents and eating. Presents and eating, two of my favorite things. <laughs> what do you like to eat during Christmas time? Um, macaroni. Ma ma you better put some cheese with that. Macaroni and cheese, please. <laughs> Thank you. Tell everyone Merry Christmas, okay? Merry Christmas. Give her two because she's honest. Give her two different ones. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Oh, my Lord. Hey, you little candy cane. Look at this, Victoria. This woman has dressed up like a candy cane, so we can't help but give her two. We can't help but do it. I mean, I'm not even going to wait until she tells us what she wants on her list because she's dressed like a candy cane. We're going to give her two. Just going to give them to her right now. Pass them along. Sugar, you've won already. How are you? Good. You look adorable, you little candy cane, you. <laughs> Tell us who you are. Laureline. Laureline? Laureline. That's Laureline the candy cane. I love it. How old are you? Six. Six years old. Woo, honey. Six years old, so you've, been, you've lived through a lot of stuff. All right. Now, I'm sure that you've been thinking long and hard about what it is you want for Christmas. What is it? Holiday driver. Wait a minute. Holiday driver. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Me neither. Okay, we got to get some more information, <laughs> right? Okay. So, what is Holiday Driver? It's a little car you can drive your baby dolls in. You drive your baby dolls. Okay, how big is it? Um, this big. Okay, it's about this little. big. It's a little one, about like this. Okay, how many baby dolls can it fit in there? Um, two. Two. Now, you've got baby dolls already? How many? A bunch. You can't even count them. How many do you have? How many baby dolls you got? Ten. Ten. Okay. So you need a holiday driver car. What color is the car? What, what color does it need to be? Red. Ooh, red, honey. Mm, I love, love that. A red car. What else do you want besides the holiday driver? Um, bracelets. Say that again? Bracelets. Bracelets. Ooh, I love bracelets. What colors do you want? Perfect. Purple. How about this? Won't you tell them you want them in all different colors so you can match them with all your outfits? Don't you think? I mean, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. And you definitely want red or blue, right? Yeah. Anything else? 
That's it. And, and tell us now, uh, what is it about Christmas that makes it so special to you? Uh, that we all get together. That we all get together. That's right, because there's nothing like that, is it? All right, look into that camera right there and tell them Merry Christmas. You're going to stay with us, though. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, this has been such a great day, hasn't it, Victoria? Yes. You've been has. such a great helper. And you've already, you've, have you told me what you want for Christmas? Let us know before we go. I want a tablet, mm -hmm. a new shoes, and some clothes. New shoes. You want high heels? Woo, my. Oh. Victoria, I knew you were my spirit animal. <laughs> and what kind of clothes you want? Just all kinds? All kinds. All kinds. Very good. And I'm sure you're going to get it, honey, because you're already dressed like nobody's business, both of you. I love it. All right. Thank you. You were a great helper today. Good to see you, Candy Cane. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson. We've been serving the Devil and Lawrence community for over 90 years here at Williamson's Bakery. We specialize in donuts, cakes, pies, cupcakes, cookies, birthday cakes. They're our business, not a hobby. And don't forget our large selection of cheese straws. For special orders, contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or better yet, just come get you some. When you stop by, be sure to try our all new Pig in the Blankets. We have bacon, sausage, and chicken. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, Dublin, Georgia. With the hot, freshest donuts, come to Williamson's Bakery. We proudly support our area athletics. Fairview Fitness Center, open 24 seven with staffed hours available every day. Push your fitness further with our fitness classes. Join today and see the benefits of a healthy life. Fairview Fitness Center, serving our community for over 30 years. For more information, call 353-1900, visit us at 200 Industrial Boulevard behind Fairview Hospital, or log on to fairviewfitness.com. All right, now uh, we've, getting, we've got some third graders here that I've seen probably the last two or three years that I've been here. Hi, girls. Hello. Hello. Now listen, we've already talked, I think last year, right? The year before that? And here we go again. You are now my elf assistant. Yep. Tell everybody who you are and how old you are. I'm Adley Smith and I am eight. Adley is eight. Good to see you, Adley. Good to see y'all. You're growing up. You're looking precious. Thank you. Is that a candy apple on your shirt? It is. I love it. I love it. Well, hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, woman. Tell us who you are and how old you are. I'm Hadley Smith, and I'm eight years old. Wait a minute. <laughs> are you Adley Smith? I am. And you're Hadley Smith? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what in the world? Are you twins? No. <laughs> Did your mamas, like, talk to each other at the hospital when you were born? <laughs> what in the world? Uh, you girls have gotten real weird here. Adley Smith. Adley Smith. Hadley Smith. <laughs> I've seen it all. All right, girls, we're just going to continue, okay? okay? I love your names. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what have you been doing since I was here last year? Learning. Learning, yeah, right. Just learning, all learning, mm -hmm. no fun? Has it been fun learning? Well, mostly. Mm -hmm. Have you been nice all this past year or naughty or a little bit of both? You know, I know you know. I don't know, actually. <laughs> Let's ask your twin. Adley, how's she been? Um, good. good. Are, are you two telling the truth here? We'll find out. How's Adley been? Good. Mm, okay. All right, so listen, before we get started, we need to find out what you girls want for Christmas, all right? Okay. All right, are you ready? I am. And I know that you two are not going to be simple. I can tell you that. What is it you want? I want some... David German bracelets, um, <laughs> some um, 
clothes, like mm-hmm. Christmas or cute clothes, mm-hmm. and then some unicorn stuff for my room mm-hmm. and squishies. <laughs> and squishies. <laughs> So you want clothes, you want jewelry, you need some, unif- some uh, unicorn, unicorn stuff to decorate your room, and shoes. Shoes. Boots. No boots? High heels. High heels, oh my darling. Sandals, Sandals and high heels. All right, very good. Now, as far as this, so is your room already in unicorn? A lot. How do you know? I went to her house. Your friends? Adley? And Hadley. Yes. Okay, this is getting even weirder by the minute. You two are good friends, right? Yes, ma'am. Do people get your names mixed up? Mixed up? Kind of, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm about to, okay? <laughs> You're about to be Adley before it's over. I'm just saying. All right, so uh, now for this, this room, this room, this unicorn room, is it already, uh, you keep it clean? Um, sometimes, like, when I have dance competitions, mm-hmm. it's just like crazy. It's a mess then, isn't I it? I usually keep it clean. For the most part. Right? I don't like my stuff everywhere. <laughs> I bet you don't. Okay, very good. And what about you? What do you want? Um, I want some squishies, um, like a little bit, because I don't have any. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I want some clothes and mm-hmm. some boots. Mm-hmm. Any high heels in there? Mm-mm. 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 So you want boots, you want um, some cute little tennis shoes mm-hmm. and stuff like that, sandals. Yes. Uh, what about what else do you want? Um, a phone. A phone? What kind do you want? iPhone. Mm, of course you want an <laughs> iPhone. Uh, what number does it have to be? I don't know the numbers. Uh, probably an 8 or a 10 <laughs> or something like that. Do you know how to use the phone? Now, we've had this conversation. I do. I do. Who do you call the most on your phones? My sister. Mm. Who do you call? Um, Trinity Mac. <laughs> Trinity Mac. Okay. Now, girls, now listen. You don't be on the phone all day, though, right? No. No. You have a time limit? Mm-hmm. What's the longest you've ever I talked? Don't. What? Wait a minute. Am I going to have to take you off your elf duty? <laughs> no. I'm just, okay. So you don't have a limit. You can talk as much as you want. Well, sometimes my mom, if I have to do, like, I usually do my homework, Mm -hmm. but, like, if I'm free, then I usually get on it. Okay. So in her free time. Mm -hmm. And so you, you're pretty good about it. All right, so you want an iPhone. What else? I don't know. You don't know? How much is this phone going to cost, you think? I don't know. It doesn't even matter, does it? Uh -uh. Mm Mm-mm. You just... I have um, a Samsung Galaxy Mm -hmm. S8 Plus. Oh, what? (laughs) Okay, girls, now listen, you've been nice all year, right? Yes, ma'am. And you have too. Mm -hmm. All right. So tell everybody, what is it you love most about Christmas? Well, first, um, it's Jesus' birthday. Yes, it is. Yeah. How old is he? Just add it up and let me know next year. Okay. (laughs) That's right, it's Jesus' birthday. Anything, anything else while you're uh-uh. celebrating what's important to you? Uh-uh. That's enough, isn't it? What about you? What do you love Jesus most about Jesus' birthday and presents. And presents, <laughs> two of my other favorite things. Very good. Well, Merry Christmas to you, young lady. Thank you. All right, get you a candy cane. She's ready for you. All right, we need another one. Come on down. See ya. Can I get two? No, you need to get one because you done already told me. Look. <laughs> Precious, how are you? Good. Tell us who you are. Allison Edgecombe. Allison. Now, Allison, how old are you now? Eight. Eight years old. So precious. Now, Allison, you've been thinking about what it is you want for Christmas, right? What's come to mind? iPod Touch and a hot pink phone, um, iPod case and mm-hmm. a pop socket. Well, wait a minute. Now, I know about the, uh, the touch. That's where you play a lot of music and stuff, right? and put a lot of songs on it. Do you know a lot of songs? You do? How many do you know? <laughs> What's your favorite song? Um, turn Down For What? Turn Down For What? <laughs> turn Down For What? I love that song, I do. Now listen, so you want the, the touch. What else do you want? Squishies. Squ- squishies? Hold on, let me talk to my elf. What in the world's a squishy? Okay, so it's kind of like a stress reliever. Oh, did you squeeze? Squishies. Okay, we're back. So you want a squishy, and you want a pop socket. Hold on, 
What in the world is a pop socket? You put it on your phone case, and instead of holding it with your hands, you oh, slide it, oh, and then you keep can it from hit. falling. Okay, great. We're back. So, all right. So you need a phone for this pop socket, right? All right. You've already got a phone, so you need the phone too, right? Okay. And now you've been nice all year, or you know, tell the nice. truth. You've been nice all. She's been nice all year. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll see. Let us know if you get all these things because I think it'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Very good. And what do you love most about Christmas? Jesus' birthday. It is his birthday. Happy birthday, Jesus. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Very good. All right. What if there was a paint that had the power to awaken something old or painfully dated? or something you simply thought was lost forever, because it could form a strong bond regardless of age. If a paint could give any time-worn surface stunning new life, you have to wonder, is it still paint? Regal Select Exterior from Benjamin Moore, only available at independently owned paint and hardware stores. Available at Four Seasons Paint and Floor Covering. At Optum Healthcare, we know you're not yourself when even one part of yourself is hurt. Because in orthopedics, everything is connected. Bones, joints, ligaments, and cartilage. At Optum Healthcare, we're connected to an orthopedic specialist like Dr. Patrick Hansen in Dublin covers every bone in your body. Dr. Hansen will work together with you to get you back to being you. Optum Healthcare, at the corner of Moore Station Road and Industrial Boulevard. Optum Healthcare, Dublin. Hey, how you doing? Come here, let me pull this down so we can see that handsome face of yours. Is that cool? There it is. Turn around here, let them see that handsome face. How are you today? Good. Tell everybody who you are and how old you are. Corey Washington and I'm eight years old. Corey Washington and you're eight years old. Now Corey, what is it that you want for Christmas? iPhone X. An iPhone X? Do you already have an iPhone? So your first phone ever, you, so you've had phones, but you don't have one now. What happened to your other one? I still have it. So you want an upgrade. Mm -hmm. I don't have an iPhone X. We got to find out how much this thing's going to cost. You already know? No. Come right here. Just park it right here. Let me ask my little elf helper. Now, okay, now listen. He wants an iPhone X, and I, I'm sure it's pretty, you know, mm -hmm. how much you think it's going to cost. Mm, around 900, oh. 700. Hold on. Hey, so we're back here. So that's going to cost you quite a bit of money. Have you been naughty or nice all year? A little bit of both. Oh, my Lord, a little bit of both. Okay, you're honest, so that's good. A little bit of both. Now, um, anything else besides this iPhone X? A pop socket for it. To keep it from falling, right? Mm -hmm. To keep it together. All right, now, um, you're going to have to give a message to your parents. The, they're going to be the ones to buy it? You've got to look into that camera and tell them why you need this phone, okay? You ready? Go for it. Because my old one is cracked and I don't want to cut my finger. <laughs> you heard it. His old phone is cracked. The screen, right? Mm -hmm. And so instead of just fixing that screen, he wants an iPhone 10, an X. We'll see how that, how that works out for you, okay? And you'll be, would you be happy if it wasn't a 10, if it was another one, like an 8 or something? You'd be okay with that? Okay. All right. And tell everyone Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sweetie. <laughs> Get your candy cane. We're winding it down with the, hey, girl. Oh, my Lord. Look at this one here. You know I know you. How are you, precious? Good. Didn't I see you last year? Mm-hmm. Don't I see you all the time? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody who you are and how old you are. My name is Neva Dave, and, and, and I am eight years old. You are eight years old. Now, um, I need to know what it is you want for Christmas, because I'm going to probably have to, you know, I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to probably have to talk directly to her parents, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because this might be a doozy. All right, hey, what do you want? I want a new iPad, mm -hmm. and I want a new backpack. Ooh, hold on, let's set. so you've got an iPad right now. Yes. 
is anything wrong with it? Well, no, I just, it was, it's too old and it works a little slow. Oh, so you need to speed it up with a new iPad and you've already kind of priced it, you know how much it's going to cost them? Mm, not, well, not exactly. Not exactly, you haven't checked yet. Okay, so, and you need a new backpack. Mm -hmm. What do you want the backpack to have on? Is it a specific backpack that you want? I want it glittery Ooh. and it has my initials on it. Yes, something monogram with some shiny stuff, bedazzled. That's going to be pretty. What color does it need to be? Aqua. Aqua. You are the first one I've ever talked to in the past five years that said they wanted aqua. But I like aqua. <laughs> and so have you had a good year, though? Has it been a good year for you? Yes, ma'am. Do you keep your room clean? Well, I mean, not exactly. Oh, my Lord. Here it is. Hold on a second. Okay, now. <clears throat> you heard that, right? Mm -hmm. Not exactly. So that means, you know, she sometimes does and sometimes has a few problems. Should we let it slide? Mm, yeah. Okay. We're going to let that slide. All right. And anything else that you have? You, do you wash dishes? Well. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> I'm just asking. I just want to, you know, just the big guy wants to know what, what all you're doing around the house here. And so you tell us what's most important for you for Christmas. Um, Jesus' birthday and the presents. Yes, honey. You know, to know the reason for the season and still get presents, how cool is that? That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, so you tell everyone Merry Christmas out there. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Let me squeeze you. I got to squeeze you for your mama. You know that. Thank you. Bye-bye, darling. Here we go. Hey! Come on in, Precious. How are you? I'm good. All right, tell us who you are. I'm Bella, Isabella Manning, and I'm nine years old. Your name is Isabella. I love your name. Do they call you Bella? Yes, they do. My name is not as cool as that. I love your name. Thank you. You're welcome. So what is it that you want for Christmas, Isabella? I want an iPad and a pop socket. Just like what the other ones wanted. Now, you for that pop socket, aren't you supposed to have a phone for it? Yes. You've got a phone? Mm -hmm. What kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone 6. What, woman? Now, um, <clears throat> you're not on the phone all the time, though, are you? No. You don't use it in class, do you? No. You're not on it late at night, are you? No. That's I, good. Because I have a bedtime. What's your bedtime? Eight. Eight o'clock? Isabella, honey, that's when I just get crunk up. I work all through the night. So 8 o'clock, you're in bed. Hold on, let me ask this one. All right, little elf, what's your bedtime? 8.30. Or Eight. sometimes on Thursdays, I have dance from 4 until 9. Oh, my. So I bet it you're really worn out, aren't you? doesn't matter. It <laughs> sometimes. But your bedtime's normally 8.30. Yes, ma'am. All right, I got you. And what time do you get up in the mornings? I get up at 6. 6 o'clock, you get up. Yes. Is it Now, when you get up, are you grumpy? No. You get up happy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm grumpy, sometimes I'm happy, but most of the time happy. That's good, baby. And so when you go to bed at 8 o'clock, no problem. You go right to sleep. No, sometimes I stay up a little later. Mm. But I'm laying in bed. But you're in the bed. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. All right, so with this iPad, now you're going to do what with it? Um, play games and watch videos. And watch videos? I got gotcha. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, now, before we even send this request out, we have to make sure that you've been, uh, you know, you said a little bit of both. You're nice, naughty. Nice. All the time? Yes. Hold on, please. Do you know her? Um, a little bit. Has she been nice when you've seen her? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, we're back. Okay, well, um, we hope that you get those things because that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. And you're pretty responsible. Yes. You keep that room clean. You clean up around the house? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> work on it, okay? Just work okay. on that. Just see, you know, see what you can do around the house okay. to help out. Okay. All right. Um, any uh, Christmas message you want to give out there to the people? Um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, darling. With Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance, I can get auto, home, life, even banking all in one place. Pretty convenient if you ask me. Always the home team, Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit us online at gfbinsurance.com.
Proud to be a part of the Dublin community, La Quinta Inn and Suites is conveniently located on I-16 at 441 and close to many of our city's major industries and businesses. La Quinta offers a prime location with many amenities, including free breakfast, free Wi-Fi, and a beautiful indoor pool. La Quinta Inn and Suites was voted the best La Quinta in the world and a TripAdvisor's Certificate of Excellence. Book your next training class or school at La Quinta Inn and Suites of Dublin, locally owned and operated. Wake up on the bright side. All right, now we've got the fifth graders, or should I say the seniors of Northwest Lawrence, shouldn't I? Hello, Elle. Hi. Hi. So these are the more mature group. Hello, young lady. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How are you today? Good. Good. So fifth grade, Northwest Lawrence, I mean, so these are the ones who are about to transition. Are you transitioning to middle school? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. Are you nervous? Are you excited? Are you what? Nervous. Nervous. Mm. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about that. Tell us who you are and how old you are. I'm Amber Pittman, and I'm 10 years old. Hello, Amber Pittman, 10 years old. Amber, you're a preacher's kid, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Mm. How does it feel to be a preacher's kid? Do you go to church all the time? <laughs> Do you sing in the choir? Yes, ma'am. What else do you do at church? I'm a junior usher. I knew you were an usher. I could tell you usher. Mm -hmm. And uh, you enjoy it? Yes, ma'am. Very good, Amber. Now tell us um, what it is, Amber, that you want for Christmas this year. Have you been thinking long and hard about it? All right. I want a new tablet. And then after that, I want some yarn. And that's all. So you're knitting, you knit. Yes, ma'am. What have you already made? Have you made some stuff already? Well, I've made some bracelets. You. Could you knit me a hat and scarf? Have you gotten that far advanced? No, ma'am. Okay, so you need to practice, right? So when you get good enough, knit me a purple hat and a purple scarf. Yes, ma'am. You can handle that? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. All right. And so now, Amber, now, you know, I, I can already tell that you've had a pretty good year. Have you been nice, naughty, a little both? It depends on what time of day it is. How have you been? A little both. A little both. Where is that area that's kind of shaky, you know, where you have a little trouble with? Well, um, I have a problem with candy because I like, my mom says it, I just can't stop eating it. I'm, oh. I'm kind of addicted to it. Oh, oh, Lord. We don't need to give you a candy cane. Do we? I want one. <laughs> You're going to have to take it home with you now. Take it home. Don't you eat it in here. You take it home and make sure that it's good to go. All right? Yes. And so for you, what is it that's most important about Christmas for you? Well, what's most important is that everyone's together, together having a good time. Mm -hmm. That's where the blessing is, isn't it? And you know I know your family. We go way back. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? No, ma'am. You didn't know it. And, of course, I loved your grandmother very much. So, um, you know, Amber, so you're a preacher's kid. You're not asking for much. A tablet. You've, got, you've already got a tablet. Yeah, but that one work, it's not working too good. So you need an upgrade. You need a new one. Yes, ma'am. And you've been pretty nice and have a few issues with candy, and you know, that you're going to work on. Yes, ma'am. All right, very good. So the tablet and yarn so that you can make more bracelets and possibly in the future make me a hat and scarf. Yes, ma'am. All right. So should we, um, should we give her a candy cane? You know, she said she has a little problem with it. We just, you think she'll be able to just take it home with her? Yes, but don't eat it here. Okay. So don't eat it. Pinky swear. Give me your pinky. You're not going to eat it here. You're going to take it home first. Yes, All right. Tell everyone Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, sweetie. Good to see you. Oh, Pastor Pittman's daughter. Hey, he's precious. How are you? Good. All right. Look at those cowboy boots. Cowgirls. I love those. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Maggie Marsh. Hello, Maggie Marsh. Now, Maggie, um, how old are you now? I'm 11. 11 years old. About to be going to middle school. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my Lord. Are you ready for that? Kinda. Oh my gosh, she's going to middle school. Oh, what is? Are you nervous a little bit? Mm -hmm. What is it about it you're nervous about? Uh, probably getting from class to class on time. It's gonna be different, isn't it? 
So this is where you girls are going, and guys are going to have to really grow up because when you go to middle school, it's a whole different world. Yes, ma'am. Now, um, you know, I have to ask this because it's important, you know, as far as, you know, in gift giving. Um, you know, have you been a good girl? Have you been uh, a little naughty? A little bit of both? Depends. How have you been? I've been good, but when I'm around my sister, sometimes I'm naughty. Ooh, ooh, the sisters. Okay. <laughs> so when she's around her, excuse me, okay, excuse me. So when she's around her sisters, she's a little bit naughty. I mean, that's acceptable, isn't it? Mm, I mean, yes. you have sisters? I do. Are you a little naughty around your sisters? <laughs> okay. So listen, how many you got? Two. She's got two sisters. She's a little naughty around hers. Uh, I've got six of them, so you can only imagine okay, <laughs> how it gets. So we're going to let you pass on that one. Okay. We're going to let you pass on it, all right? And so um, what do you want? I want a guinea pig and, a, and an iPhone XS. Excuse me. A guinea pig? Mm -hmm. Hold on. A real one? Mm-hmm. Oh, my Lord. They're my favorite. Do you already have a guinea pig? I don't. Excuse me, hold on. All right, now, a guinea pig? Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? Well, mm, uh, Hold on, hold on a second, hold on, hold on. H how big does this guinea pig have to be? As so long as it's hand. a guinea pig, I'm good. So it can be a little one? It can be a little or small. How big do they get? Do you know? Um... I can get about this big. Oh, Lord have mercy. It depends on how much food they eat. But you can't overfeed it because you don't want it to get too fluffy. They're cuter when they're fluffy. They are. That thing's not going to be able to walk around. <laughs> are you going to keep it in a cage? Where are you going to keep it? Probably in a cage. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you going to name it? Have you already picked out a name for your guinea pig? Um, I kind of want a brown one so I can name it Mocha. I actually love that name. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I love it. I don't know. I love it. Okay, so Mocha, mm -hmm. the brown guinea pig. Mm -hmm. What do they eat? Do you know what they eat? They will eat like apples and stuff and vegetables. Do you put a whole apple in there? How do you do that? Um, you can put a whole apple in there. And, and, and uh, Mocha will just gnaw on it? Mm -hmm. But it takes him a couple of days to eat it or her. Okay, it's going to take them a couple of days to eat the apple. Okay. Now, is it hard to take care of one? Who's going to take um, care of it? Me and my mom may help me clean out its cage, though. Okay, okay. Are you good with the animals? Do you have other animals already? We don't. So this is going to be your first pet? Mm -mm, I used to have a fish. Okay, what happened to him? He died after I had him for like two months because he never would eat his food. Oh, one of those. We've had that happen. All right, mm -hmm. so you want a guinea pig, and then you want? An iPhone XS. Woo, excuse, excuse us, Missy, excuse us. An XS, that's, that's one of the top um, ones. 900. Oh my God, how much do you think this phone's gonna cost? Around 900 or 800, but I'm hoping to get it from Santa. Oh, well, because then it'll be free. What? Oh, um, wow, woman. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're just so precious. You just might get that. So, an iPhone XS. That's top of the line. Mm -hmm. Top of the line. Whew. When you get this phone, if you get this phone, all right, uh -huh. uh, can you come back and tell me about it? Yes, ma'am. So that I can, like, use yours for a minute or two? Maybe. Yes, maybe. I love the way you talk. And now this Mocha, the guinea pig, it can be a girl or a boy, <laughs> but their name's going to be Mocha anyway. And Pinky Swear, you're going to take care of it? I promise. Keep your room clean? I always keep my room clean. I'm OCD. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have any problem with keeping that room clean, keeping that cage clean. Mocha's going to be like, now listen, woman, I want to run around a little bit. I'll let him. But you better keep it clean, Mocha, and don't leave apple core all over the place. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and what is it that you love most about Christmas? Um, I like being able to, like, 
be with my family, mm -hmm. and I like to celebrate Jesus' birthday. Perfect. That's the perfect reason to. Well, Merry Christmas to you, and it was a pleasure talking with you. Merry Christmas to you, too. Look at this one right here. This woman, oh, my Lord. You wouldn't buy a gallon of milk and immediately pour 70% of it out, would you? Then why would you do that with power for your home? 70% of electricity is lost on the way to your house, making it only 30% efficient. But natural gas is 92% efficient. Electricity is good to power your lights and electronics, but using natural gas for certain appliances is the most cost-effective, energy-efficient, and environmentally friendly mix for your home. Use it. Don't lose it. Choose the right energy mix. Choose natural gas. For over 21 years, J.T. Hanna has provided Dublin and Middle Georgia with quality promotional products and superior service you can count on. J.T. Hanna specializes in screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We also provide customers with original artwork and logos through our talented in-house design. Our website makes designing and ordering t-shirts easy. You can design, choose from an uploaded template, or upload your own custom logo to easily create a lasting impression. Customers can also create purchase sites to make selling shirts for fundraisers or events easy and stress-free. Whether you need promotional items for your company or next event, JT Hanna can help. We take pride in delivering the highest quality products and we take pride in serving you. Try us. I think you'll like us. Contact us today at 478-274-1267 or visit us on the web at jthanna.com. Hey darling, how were you? Good. Now tell us who you are. Gia Patel. Don't I know your family? Maybe. Maybe. I think I do, Gia. How old are you now? Eleven. Eleven. Oh, about to go to middle school. You excited? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma but I'm worried I'm going to forget my locker passcode. Honey, you better <laughs> write that thing down yes. in here and in here <laughs> yes. because you're going to be like this. Like You're going to have to be able to get to that class, get to your locker, and be in there before that bell rings. Yes, ma'am. You might need to practice on open day, you know, opening day, you know, just yes, to go in there and practice that little routine. And so how's school been here at Northwest Lawrence? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. And so for you now, um, have you been thinking about Christmas and what you want? It's just around the yes. corner. Yes. Do you have a long list? Not really, just a tiny little list. Have you been nice, naughty, a little of both? I've been both because my brother's naughty. So I have oh. to be naughty back to him. Hold on a second. I kind of agree with her sometimes, you know. Mm, you got to yes. be able to, you know, <clears throat> keep him in line. Is he a younger brother? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, do you have a younger brother? Just, I just have older sisters. So you don't know what it is like, right? Okay. Well, so I'm you can kind of guess, right? Yeah. Naughty too. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> You're my helper. You're, excuse us a second. You're a naughty helper? <laughs> nice, but when it comes to my sisters. You, oh, my Lord. You and I got to work on this thing. All right. So we're back. Hey. Yay. All right. So a little bit with the younger brothers. I got it. Yeah. And so what is it that you want? I want a phone, a dog, a little puppy, and um, a pen embroidery kit. Okay. You want a phone. What kind of phone do you want? You got to be specific here, girl. What kind of phone? I want an iPhone 6 because it has a headphone plug in. Okay, so be able to plug it in. That's what I, I miss about it. So yeah. you want an iPhone 6, a puppy. What kind of puppy do you want? I don't know. I want like those little fluffy ones. I can't remember their names. Okay, how big does it need to be? This big. Honey, that's big! Oh! It's not too big for a dog. I thought you were talking about one like this. No, this big. Oh. You have dogs? <laughs> I have three. Are they big? Well, two are small, about like um, that size, uh -huh. and then one's like big. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> now, the one that you want, yes, is it going to get really big? No, ma'am. All right, so do you want to, you're going to keep it in your room? Where are you going to mm. keep it? I will put it outside. Okay, so you're going to have them outside. Have them a little yes, house out there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have you chosen a name yet? Yeah, I have. What is it? Mia. Mia. So you want a little girl dog. Yes. Oh, Mia. That's so pretty, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So you need a, a, need a, you need a new phone, a puppy named yes. Mia. Yeah. And a pen embroidery kit. A pen embroidery kit? Yeah. So what do you make with that? So it's like a magic pen and you put yarn in it and mm -hmm. there's this little paper thing with 
mm -hmm. with like holes in them, and then you can make whatever you want with it. Like cross stitch? Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Um, you gonna make me something? Yeah. Mm hmm. Like like uh, make my name Raider Elf. Yeah. Mm hmm. In reds and greens and blues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now okay, so with all this stuff right here, have you totaled like how much it's gonna cost? Uh, not really. I know an iPhone 6 is probably like 200 or 300 since it's so old. Mm -hmm. But then the puppy might be a little over 1,000. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then a pet embroidery kit is $10. Okay. So you're going to go up here with the $1,000 puppy. And then and down, down here, here with the, with the pet <laughs> So parents, kit. you see it. She's got like a, you know, a steep little, you know, $1,000. And then down to 10, right? My grandpa will probably get me the $1,000 dog. Uh, give him a message right now to convince him why you need to have it. Because I'm responsible. Yes. You heard that, Grandpa? She's responsible. Give a message to your parents. I want a dog because I'll take care of it. I've taken care of my brother, and he's like a dog. He's just a human. He's just a human. He acts like a dog. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, parents. That was not me. I didn't coach her to say that. Oh, Lord. So this is what you need to do. Yes. You work on that relationship with your brother. All right? Kind of work on it. Yeah, try, because that's necessary. All right? Yeah. So what's most important to you for Christmas? Celebrating Jesus' birthday, and I always love um, having some time with my family. Very nice. And there's nothing like family. Yes. And that little brother. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Merry Christmas, dear. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Goodness, right? these fifth graders are something else, aren't they? <laughs> Look. Hey, darling, how are you? Good. You little dimple. Tell everybody who you are. I'm Missy Graham, and I'm 10 years old. Missy Graham, 10 years old. Missy, honey, how's it been here at Northwest Lawrence? Good. And now you're going to be a freshman over there at the middle school. You excited about that? Mm, yes, but I'm a little bit nervous. What are you nervous about? Just for, I might forget my locker code and just all the classes that I had to go through and time, getting there in time. You got to practice, don't you? Now you, you got a little bit more time here, don't you? A lot mm -hmm. of, you got a few more years, right? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. you do. Two, two years. <laughs> she said two. All right, so tell us what it is that you want for Christmas this year. Mm, clothes, mm -hmm. some more boots. And I don't really want much, just some little things like clothes, boots. Mm -hmm. Just the things that you just kind of need, you know, like, so you like to dress up or are you dress down? I do a little bit of both. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what kind of shoes do you want? You want shoes and stuff, boots? You want any of these? Not really. Maybe for Christmas. <laughs> I would kick this little leg up here. Some of these right here, perhaps, with a little jingle bell on them. I hear you. And so, what is it that you love most about Christmas? Because people have been talking about spending time with their family, friends, celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, um, getting presents, eating good food. What do you love most? Just spending time with my family and presents. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are two important things. And, and celebrating with Jesus' birthday. That's right. That's very special. So you need clothes. You want clothes. Now, do you want to pick out your own? You want them to give you a gift card? Or are you going to just tell them what you want? How do you want that to work out? Maybe a gift card, and I can pick out what I want. Where do you want them to get the gift card to? Um, not sure. Just let them get you a gift card with money on it, right? And then let them, Then you can do what you need to do with it, right? All right, so now you've got to convince your parents, your family, uh, you know, how much money you think you need on that gift card? Because you want to get clothes, you want to get shoes. Maybe like $60. Up it up just a little bit more. 75 <laughs> What's special about you is you're definitely not asking for too much um, and that you love being with your family. That's very sweet. That makes you super special. You know that? Mm-hmm. All right. So tell everyone Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And get you some elf shoes, too. That Put that on your list. This playoff game brought to you in part by Jet Food Store. For fast, friendly service with a smile. 
in a safe environment and competitive pricing. Check out Jet Food Stores at a location near you. Coney Fall Line Technical College. Think differently about college and apply today. Well, hey, how are you? Good. All right, look into that camera and tell us who you are. I'm Evan Holmes and, and I'm 10. Hey, Evan, do we know each other? You know my brother. Who's your brother? EJ Holmes. The king over there? The <laughs> you know I know your brother. I know your dad and your mom. Yes, ma'am. I know your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents. Come on, man. Lord have mercy. And you should have been grinning and skinning this whole time, shouldn't you? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, um, do you know Evan? I do not. You do not. You don't know my elf? Mm -hmm. This is my little elf. What's your name? Adley. I was going to call her Hadley, but she's Adley. So quit messing me up. Adley. All right, Evan. You the last one today. They saved you for last because they knew that this was a special, special list that you have. You've been thinking long and hard about it? Yes, ma'am. What do you want for Christmas? I want a, a computer and a Siberian Husky. Wait a minute. You want a computer, a whole computer? And what else? A Siberian Husky. Ooh. Oh, good. A Siberian Husky. How tall is that thing? Raise it up. Right here. Oh, Lord have mercy. That thing's like a baby wolf. Okay. All right, Evan. Now listen, a Siberian husky? Yes, ma'am. That thing's huge. It's a lot. Okay. Now, how much how much do you think this is going to cost? I mean, this is going to be a special request. How much is that Siberian husky going to cost? Probably over a thousand. Mm. 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 You oh. see, you got my elf over here grunting. Mm -hmm. So uh, over $1,000 and this computer, how much do you think this computer is going to cost? Mm, like $900. Oh my gosh. So you're talking about $2,000. Hold on just a second though. Hold on, okay? Don't go there. Um, he's talking about $2,000 worth of stuff here. So, I mean, I know his family, so I, I'm, I'm going to ask him, okay, about okay. if he's been naughty or nice or not. Hey, we're back. So, um, so have you been naughty or nice or, yeah, how have you been? A little bit of both. Wow. Wow. All right, confession time. What is the, what's the, this year part? What's been going on? Me and my brother. Getting into it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Who's the oldest? Ariana. So you and your brother get into it. Have you, has, have you been trying to work on that, you know? Yes, ma'am. Who's the boss in that? Are Me. You, the boss. <laughs> so you have to kind of get him in line? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult sometimes? Yes, ma'am. Do you get in trouble with your parents with it sometimes? Sometimes. Oh, man. All right, all right. So hold on a second, okay? Hold on just a second. All right, so this is the deal. He gets in trouble with his brother and a lot and he and what he wants is totaling like about two thousand mm. dollars so he's gonna have to give a special message out there to his family isn't he mm -hmm. all right so listen uh here we go this is what we've come up with okay you're gonna have to plead your case you're gonna have to let them know some of the things that's been good that you've done good you gotta remind us okay of the good things you've done so that you know they'll consider this Siberian Husky and this computer. Are you gonna take care of this dog? Yes, ma'am. You gonna keep him in the house, outside in the house? What are you yes. gonna do? I'm gonna keep him outside. Outside. Uh, my, yeah. My, my uncle has seven dogs. So. Your uncle has seven dogs. You have any dogs at home? No. So your one dog in the house at the house, you want a Siberian Husky? Yes, ma'am. Have you chosen a name for him? No. All right. So, okay, are you ready for this? Yes, ma'am. 
I think you, you're gonna have to talk to everybody to convince them about this Siberian Husky and this computer. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Brace yourself, people. Go ahead. I want it because I usually take out the trash and wash the dishes sometimes. That was your case? Oh, God. All right. You heard that. So because you wash the dishes and take out the trash sometimes, you should get this dog for $1,000 and a computer, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, tell your mama to call me whenever she gets that for you because I want to come by and see this dog. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. So you better make sure that you are keeping it straight as an arrow from now into Christmas, okay? Yes, ma'am. Don't get into it with your brother. Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes, ma'am. Wash those dishes. Clean that room, right? Yes, ma'am. Hold on. All right, so I'm just going to let him go with this, okay? Okay. I'm going to let him go with it. All right, all right, so you good? Yes, ma'am. All right. You've heard it, ladies and gentlemen. You've heard from uh, Northwest Lawrence Elementary all day here. They've been sharing uh, what they love most about Christmas, things that they want for Christmas, and, and, you know, and their special messages to their parents. I've had some great elf helpers. This one right here, Adley, you did a great job, honey. Thank you. You did great, honey. So um, I'll be seeing you around, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. We'll be seeing each other. You, young man, I'm going to keep my eyes out on you, okay? Yes, yes ma'am. I'm going to keep my eyes out on you. I'm going to contact your family to make sure you've been keeping it together. Yes, ma'am. I want to see this Siberian Husky. Yes, ma'am. And this computer. What kind you want? You got to be, you want a laptop? A desktop? A laptop. Oh, wow. Mm. All right, all right. So let us know you get it. We hope that you do, but you got to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do, all right? Yes, ma'am. And no matter what you do, you know the reason behind it, don't you? Yes, ma'am. All right. This has been a great day, ladies and gentlemen, here at Northwest Lawrence Elementary, coming out here, talking to kids about what they want for Christmas, you know, and, and definitely we're not forgetting what the real reason is and to celebrate uh, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But at the same time, hearing from these kids out of the mouths of babes, uh, things that they desire, and our prayer is that they they do get the desires of their heart, but also keep things in perspective as well, right? Yes, All right. You want to tell them Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody, from Northwest Lawrence Elementary.